Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Air, Massachusetts with uh, accountability for all Josh Abrams and Leroy Truth investigations as they attempt to uh, annoy people as much as they can. And let me tell you something. It is just another day of sick, disgusting maggots uh, doing their best to make everybody uh, in their lives miserable. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and try not to punch the computer screen. Hello? What's going on, man? Who are we looking up today? Alexander. Sweet. Um, uh, blocking an exit, man. That's okay. It's not okay. Just you, keep it moving, is man. Is this your property? Is this your, is property? This your property? No, but I'll move if the... Is this, is this your property? I'm watching traffic. From the exit. So the cards need to go around you so you have a better place to watch traffic. If, uh, if I is this, move, where, if is this where cars exit? Yes, uh, but it there's is. plenty of All space. right, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to pull up behind you to try and get out. I'm going to see if I have the ability to do that. Does that make sense? Yeah, that would be great. That would be great. Yep. Yeah. That would be great. All right. Oh, my God. Who the hell cares? Oh, my goodness, dumbass. I can see plenty of room right there for people to maneuver. I mean, good freaking grief. You're going to come after somebody for doing their job. And, and I'm sure this officer has been assigned to do traffic duty today. So what are you going to do? You're going to make his life a living hell just because he's doing his job to the best of his ability so he can feed his family and everything like that. Josh, you really are a disgusting pile of crap, aren't you? But then you'll just move right out of our way. Perfect. Sounds good. Why are you driving our car like that, man? mean why are you driving our car like that like why are you doing whatever you want with our property i'm running i'm doing what radar so so we're watching traffic make sure the so you're giving out tickets you're yes. so you're a predator yes. my predator are you a traffic? no i am enforcing the law and so who's the victim your eyes are pin man have you, you had okay? any drugs or alcohol have today you been drinking no. you mind stepping out of the car to do a citizen's sobriety test uh, no i will not Oh my goodness, there's that no victim, no crime fallacy that you idiotic freaking frauditors love to throw around. And you apparently don't think these things to their inevitable conclusion. If these officers did not enforce the traffic laws, then people would get hurt and worse. And if that happened, insurance premiums would go through the roof, costing everybody, you dumb pile of crap. Why don't you just sit down and think these th things through? I mean, this is quite simple because this is the kind of stuff that's been going on for a long time. Traffic laws have been going on for nearly a century and with good reason because it would be complete anarchy on the highways. And if you don't like that, tough. Oh, okay. You mind if we search the cars? No, you cannot. There's See if we have any car. illicit oh. substances in there? No. Okay. Have you ever sped, like you say, you want to uphold the law? Have you ever gone faster than the speed limit yourself? I don't, I don't understand what you guys are doing here. We're, what doing are you whatever, doing? we're doing whatever the fuck you want to do, is what we're doing. I mean, you have the right to do this. Of course we do. Of course we do. Right. I don't need you to tell me that I have the right to do something I'm doing. Okay. If I didn't have the right to do it, I wouldn't be over here. That seems like, that doesn't make any sense to me. Okay. Now, uh, back to blue, man. Honor, said, service, and honor integrity. service, and integrity. Yeah, That's back to blue. Bareback it. Right until it happens to you. Oh, back to blue until it happens to you. Oh, such a colorful little line right there. But you know what? Most people, including myself, go their entire lives without having a major encounter with law enforcement because we don't go around acting like a bunch of jackasses, unlike you, you pathetic little worm who one day uh, decided to play 
officer and false arrest somebody, and you ended up in getting put behind bars for that for a few years. Well, looks like you didn't learn shit from it, but that's not my problem. That's your problem for being a complete imbecile. Okay. All right, man. Yeah, would you like to supervise him? Yeah. So, no, how many tickets you give out today, man? Uh, actually, I haven't given out any yet. Today. How many will you give out today? I don't know. It depends on if people What's your break quota? the laws What's your quota today? There was no quotas. Yeah, right. When you speed, no. who's the victim? When they speed, who's the victim? Uh, it's the people if they crash. If they crash. So if they don't crash, you're not giving out tickets as long as there's no impact. Uh, no, because people walk on the street. You want to make it safe for the public who are walking on the side of the road. So how is the, sa the public unsafe if someone's driving 10 miles over? So the oh, state... This guy, so, so the state... Oh, here we go. So the state gives uh, the quiet... Hey, how you guys doing? What's up, man? Just want to ask him a question. Oh, go ahead, man. Yeah, sorry. Go ahead. Up yourself. Yeah, you couldn't get out because he was driving. Yeah. How are you? Can I talk to him without you guys? Yeah, go ahead, man. We're yeah, here first. Yeah, do your thing. Do your thing, bro. We're good. Uh, no, sir. He's uh, This is Josh Abrams, and he's going to do whatever the hell he wants, even if it means being a tyrant dumbass and stomping all over your rights, too, because that's the way he wants it. So let's carry on. I yeah, know, but I don't want to be on this. I don't know you. I don't that's know not you. my problem. Yeah. Are you one of them? One of what? What is what is one of those one of freedom? Them? Look at it says red, white, and blue oh my on the God. back of his shirt, it's and we're just one of those exhibiting our rights. You know, the citizens on patrol over at the station. You guys do like the civilian oh, academy. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Oh, all right. I'll just do it. Okay. All right. Very good. How are you guys doing today? We're doing great, man. Red, white, and blue, bro. Thank you. All right, man. Take care, bro. Have a good day, man. Okay, Mr. Steaming Pile of uh, Human Waste here uh, decided that he is not going to stand for how competent this cop is, and so therefore he's going to go file a complaint. He's going to go snitch on him. So let's go to that scene, shall we? Oh, they still use this, huh? The old-fashioned. They still lock the public out of the building? Air communications, lunch quarter, how can I help you? Yeah, the door's locked, man. Yeah, what can I help you with? I need to come in and talk to somebody and do a records request. Sure. Thanks. Good luck, Brad. Thank you. A little longer than a few minutes later. Hey man, morning. I'm gonna need to do a records request, but first I'd like to speak to a supervisor, please. A supervisor? Yeah. Sure. As well. Request for what? Huh? A records request for what? I'm gonna be doing the name, dates of employment, salary, and all the disciplinary reports that are publicly available on car 32. Okay, that officer was about as polite to you idiots as he could be. He didn't scream, shout, yell, or belittle you in any way, shape, or form. But now you want to file a complaint on him. Wow, aren't you the most lovely human being on the planet? Yeah, I'm being facetious right there, you slimy pile of crap. For records, I'll have you talk to the gentleman over there. Yeah, it's fine. I'll get someone to talk to you. All right, thank you. Five minutes later. I need to do I need to do a records request on the the pig in car thirty two. Do you know that pig's name? I'm sorry. Sir. Do you know the name of the pig in car thirty two? Uh, I'm not I'm not sure. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, let me show you a video. See if because the records request on the officer specifically. I'll show you the video. Maybe it can. Do you happen to know the name of that pig? Yeah, that's Officer Nicola. That's, uh, uh, right. I'm sorry, what's the pig's name? Nicolo. Nicolo. Yeah. Uh, okay, perfect. Joshy boy, you are just like any other frauditor out there. You're going to uh, whine, cry, belittle all these officers. But when you're in a dire situation and you really need their help, you're going to call them, and when they show up, you're going to be hiding behind their backs like a little wussy boy that you are. I mean, you, one day, 
You're going to thank these officers for being there. But then again, you're not going to do that. You're more likely to slap them in the hand and tell them, go away, pigs, after they're all done. And that's because you're nothing but a giant pile of human waste that not even maggots would want to eat. Oh, perfect. I'll finish up. We got a supervisor. I'll finish up in a second. Thank you very much. Hi. Hey, you the supervisor? I'm Deputy Chief. Deputy Chief. Hi, nice to meet you. Um, we just met uh, Piccolo. Is that his name? Niccolo or Piccolo? He, she, he just told us. Car 32. Okay. So he was parked in a, in a private lot, actually blocking an egress to the lot, like the okay. exit to the lot. So we just walked up and asked him why he was blocking the lot. Um, he started acting suspicious to us, so I asked him if he would do a citizen sobriety test. You know, the police have theirs, citizens. We just like to ask sometimes if people would like to comply. He didn't, which is fine. Um, the major problem I had is he monologued for about five minutes about how it's very important to sit at that spot and monitor the traffic to make sure people obey the law. Okay, it was a monologue. Five, that was five minutes long. You know what? I recall that being a dialogue right there. At least about five minutes long, it was a two-way conversation, not a one-way conversation, you jackass. I mean, he and you were actually having a conversation. It was not a very civil one, but it was a conversation nonetheless. A two-way one at that. Speeding, so marked you, lane change. Well, not? I was just very confused. Let me finish. Right, I was very confused as to if he's monologuing for, monologuing for five minutes about how it's so important for him to make sure other people obey traffic laws. He screams out of the parking lot without using a directional, without his emergency lights on, and then again, as soon as we pull up here, he's taking a right out of this parking lot into oncoming traffic with no directional again. So I'm just wondering why he's has the ability to make sure other people obey the same laws that he doesn't follow himself. I, obviously, I can speak to the officer about that. If you want, we have complaint forms, as you saw when you walked right in. Do yeah. you want to fill that out? And then if you want, <coughs> I can look into any complaints. Well, I got a question, too. Yeah. Can you give him a ticket? Do we have it on video? We have the video proof. We have three videos that show him breaking the law. Yeah, if you've got it on camera, why don't you just go and show the officer here instead of blabbing your gums about it. Show it, and then she'll know it, and then she can do something about it. But if you're not going to show it to her, then you might as well go ahead and take a long, nice long hike down the highway. With that, if you, uh, with that complaint for A complaint's not enough because a complaint's in oh, Let me finish. Just like you guys want to talk, I'm going to... Oh, wait, wait, wait. You're being rude. You know, hold on. And I wasn't done. You know, you're interrupting me. There's a complaint form if you no, want to no, file a complaint I want a complaint. Form, I, want, I, I want him investigate. given a ticket because he broke the law that he would have given us a ticket for. And then I will speak to did. him on that and then you guys... That's internal. Work. I don't trust internal. Well, so what's the, con what's the consequence going to be, Deputy Chief? About that and we will investigate it. What's, what's the consequence going to be? That's not something that I okay. want to Fair enough. Do if you, you want to file a complaint, yeah. do so with a complaint. Yeah, I'll, I'll pass it in when Other I pass in my records request. The conversation's over. But it, no, it's, it's not, it's not, it's not over because I, I, have a, a, I have another, con I have another follow-up question. Whatever it wants to say. Oh, I just, I can't see it. So yeah, do you want to try and get him for impersonating a police officer? He has to say he's a cop and give a command. Oh, it's the sad, pathetic little man-child getting all butthurt now because he's not getting his way because the uh, so-called public servant isn't bowing down and kissing your ass. Is that what is that what is going on here? That you're being a little butthurt, a little butthurt toddler. I mean, get a life, dude. So it says whatever he wants. What's your badge say? Don't block Deputy, it. Deputy, Don't Deputy, block it. Move Deputy. out of the way. I'm looking at it. Come down. Don't I, I, touch my. Don't touch my shit. My first don't he, touch just, my he shit. just touched him. And don't don't touch my stuff. That's assault. You just touched my stuff. We got it on you camera. That's fine. I can go like this. I'm not breaking anything. Don't stuff. touch it. Touch him. Don't no, touch my stuff. Assault. You just touched my stuff. We got it on camera. That's fine. I can go like this. I'm not breaking any laws. No, we're not done yet. You can't. You can't touch people without. You just touched my stuff. It's an extension of me. Oh my God. Look at that. We're hands on. Unbelievable. And the disrespect was disgusting. Finally, Leroy Truth Investigations and Blackheart Ninth agree on something. There was a disgusting situation here, and it came from all three of you. 
all three of the frauditors that were in that room. You acted like a bunch of animals to both of those officers, and now you're feeling butthurt because the supervisor wouldn't do anything because she realized how much of a jackass, well, jackasses, all three of you are acting like. So now how is she going to believe anything that you file because you three were acting like a couple of, uh, like a trio of douche canoes out there. You reap what you sow and if you act like a bunch of assholes then people will treat you like such. It's not their fault that uh, this happens. It is your fault. At any rate guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and I will see you on the next one.